This is one old timer that deserves a second glance. The Mercedes-Benz 130 is barely recognizable as a member of the prestigious car line. On closer inspection, the small two-door coach reveals itself as an anomaly in the German automaker's 100-year history. While other Mercedes cars were typically fitted with front grills, the 130 featured a closed hood. If you're guessing that means the motor is in the back, you'd be right. The 130 was Mercedes' first model with an engine mounted over the rear axle. The streamlined shape so fashionable in the 1930s accelerated a trend towards rear-engine vehicles, a trend followed by the likes of Rumpler, Tatra, Skoda, and Porsche. This 130 model, built in 1935, also has fixed window frames. Opening the soft top on the convertible needs so little practice, but even for the experts, it still takes some time. It's certainly not a task worth considering while waiting at the traffic lights. Despite its size, the 130 is packed with charming details that are typical for the 130s, including the solid chrome steel bumpers. The plate springs on the front axle were also standard for the day. And no surprises here, the trunk is found under the rounded grillless hood. But for longer trips, don't expect to be packing much luggage. With the spare tire and tools taking up most of the room, storage space is in short supply. The Mercedes 130's eye-catching proportions were a result of its rear-mounted four-cylinder engine. These slits fed directly to the cooling system. The 1.3 liter motor delivered a modest 26 horsepower, driving the rear wheels via a three-speed gearbox with overdrive. The vehicle weighed a metric ton and could travel at more than 90 kilometers an hour. The motor is still astonishingly quiet. The Mercedes 130 hit the showrooms back in 1934. And the car maker later brought out the 150 Sport Roadster with only two seats and a more powerful engine. The pioneering influence of those vehicles can be seen in the later Volkswagen Beetle. Ferdinand Porsche finished his first prototypes in 1934, the same year that Mercedes put its rear engine designs on the market. But while the VW Beetle went on to become a mass phenomenon, the Mercedes 130 was discontinued after just two years because of low sales. By 1936, the Mercedes experiment with rear engines was over. With its next model, the 170, the car maker returned to its standard front-mounted design. This fully restored 130 is now a museum piece. Worldwide, fewer than 100 vehicles still survive. With a length of four meters, there was just enough leg room for backseat passengers. 
the onboard instruments were no frills and functional. The 130 was conceived as a car for the masses. In 1935, it sold for almost 4,000 Reichsmark. That was considered cheap for a Mercedes, but still more than most could afford. The gear stick and steering wheel of the 130 require some assertive handling, and the thin wheels and old-style suspension make driving control a constant challenge. Mercedes and the rear-mounted engine have long since parted ways. Only Porsche remained true to the principle, but that's another story. <laughs>